Real talk. I have low self-esteem. It's easier than ever to have a low image of yourself, especially now when there are too many people like me with their faces stuck on either end of a computer screen. I used to set really lofty goals for myself, but it would always seem like at the last minute or overall there would be some sort of outside thing that would make it fail. I wasn't in control of it, I didn't have to take responsibility for it, but I did, and it stuck with me. I lived in fear for the next time that I would mess something up, no matter how big, no matter how small. It's easy to drink something like that away. Believe me, I tried, and it gets expensive. Kinda funny where self-destruction can lead you when you don't have the money to be self-destructive anymore. That's not funny. There's actually something I learned when it came to dieting that I applied to my own self-medication. Dieting, a field that I have a lot of experience in. Who didn't tell me there were many peanut butter cups? These are amazing! It's a way to properly reward yourself, but kind of in reverse, I guess. When feeling down, instead of turning to your run-of-the-mill booze or food, you replace it with something that that's better for you, better for your soul. I decided to get my Uncle Iroh on with tea. If I don't sit down and make time for me to enjoy a cup of tea, I kind of lose myself. As much as it sounds like I'm trying to be a self-help guru, I'm not. I don't really believe in them. I think the only way to properly help yourself is via yourself. Self-examination. It's called self-esteem for a reason. The only thing that I'm trying to offer is perspective. I'm not saying that this will work for everybody, but it's what I do and it really helps. I sit down with a cup of tea, make sure it's dark, kind of make it a void so I can be alone in my own space, literally and figuratively, and I start thinking about things that have been bothering me. We all have doubts, fears, questions about ourselves that will contribute to our inner downfall, and that's natural. It's better to address those issues head on, fly directly, directly to, to the, the forehead. forehead and find an answer. Find out if it's something worth worrying about or dealing with or just forgetting all about it. If you're by yourself, there is nobody that is in your way except for you. It's easier to come face to face with something while you are in control than in a volatile situation. Doing this has helped me let go of things that I never should have held on to in the first place. In retrospect, it's been too long of a road that I felt like I've had to walk by myself. The worst thing you could do for your self-esteem is to keep how you're feeling to yourself. And while it is always best to believe in oneself, a little help from others can be a great blessing. And that's real talk. <laughs> Cheers! Happy holidays, everybody, and I want to thank my buddy Will for making me do this. He said we should both make a video about self-esteem, and this was mine. Make sure to click around, because his will be somewhere, his, it's an annotation or something. Make sure to watch his comment back. I'm sure most of you came from his anyway, which hello, thank you. If you like this non-collaboration collaboration, let me know in the comments down below what you'd like Will and I to kind of point, counterpoint, not even, give two different points of view, that's a dangerous word to use if you know me, <laughs> uh, for the future, and we'll keep doing it because uh, this was nice. I haven't made a video for myself in a real long time. Thank you for watching. Until next time, that's how I sign off. No, that's how I did. I don't know if I stopped doing that or not, but that's, it comes naturally. Don't judge me. There's no tea in here. I fooled you. <laughs>